Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one, and I promised you that after my previous video, which I've now changed the thumbnail for, I've called it now Top 5 Fails, <laughs> which I thought was a bit uh, harsh really, because they're not exactly fails, because they're alright cards, but they're just, well the previous thumbnail was this, card backs, the 5 card backs that they that could have been better, and I suppose they could have been better, and actually, looking at them, I suppose they are fails, because they are complete misses, totally off the mark they could have been so much better so technically they're a fail but these are five cards that Hasbro nailed and I'm not looking at the entire vintage collection I'm only looking at the VC 116 onwards so the vintage collection came back 2018 so all of those cards and these are fantastic cards and they couldn't have done them any better um, so here they are in no particular order because you know I've just got the five off the wall I've got five two honorable mentions I'll do them after this one I'm so happy with that when they when they actually announced that this guy was coming out anyway I was pleased but this is the, actually the image I put in my thumbnail for my video when I was doing my vintage collection wishlist series which is a series of videos all about characters and cards I wanted to see in the vintage collection uh, but this is so nice to see that they've um, used that image I couldn't be happy and also even if I hadn't done that video and thought about it myself I'd still be happy to see that other you know they could have chosen the better image for Luke on crate powerful card back and so it's all about the visuals isn't it with vintage collection another one I'm really happy with is Lando Calrissian what a cool card back that is everything you've heard about me is true I love he's so cool in that film um, and that's sorry about the glare there you go that's a bit better um, I've got them in star cases as you can see <laughs> but um, God what am I doing so can you can you oh God's sake I'll just take it out of the um, star case will I okay so there he is and what's the name of the guy who played him I should really research these videos better shouldn't I man uh, it'll come to me but that's an awesome f um, image of oh my god I've lost the plot what was his name oh come on what was his name you're all shouting at the screen now are you not uh, can I come back to him and talk about somebody else Captain Phasma is my next one this is a brilliant brilliant card back the figure we had in the Black Series, Daniel Glover! We'll come back to Captain Phasma in a minute. Daniel Glover, what a cool image that is of Daniel Glover. He was cool in the film, really good. You killed Laura Singh. Pushed her. Pretty, pretty sure the fall killed her. But there you go. I think you've seen enough of that. Let's move on to Captain Phasma. And there she is. Just a brilliant vintage card back that, isn't it? They've really... Well, they've, they've upped their game, should we say. The first few waves were a bit and see my previous video for that but this one's brilliant look at that you can't beat that just absolutely howls Star Wars and it is like the it's Star, it's Star Killer base but it's Death Star tech isn't it Death Star design brilliant brilliant card back moving hastily on what else have we got here yes we've had Luke Crate we've had Captain Phasma Young Lando and now this one was a good card back, I thought. Really good. I mean, the potential for this card back were infinite. If you look at Tatooine Customs, he'd done uh, several designs for a Rogue One Stormtrooper. He'd had them going through the tropical beach. He'd had them on, you know, Jeddah. I'd never seen this image before, but obviously Hasbro found it and had it and were provided with it, and I thought it made an excellent card back. And I can't get rid of this opinion that somebody threw out there. I don't know where I read it. Was it Instagram? And everyone is entitled to their own opinion, as am I, and they're not wrong, neither am I. But anyway, they thought that image was fake. I thought that was such a real photograph of an image of the Stormtrooper there. I thought that was awesome. And, my God, I mean, I know we're talking about car backs in the overall presentation, but that figure is absolutely masterclass. They'll never do better than that. Not in a long time, anyway. And finally, this isn't my favourite. They're in no particular order. They're all top five, in my opinion. But I thought this was excellent. This was the Imperial Assault Tank Commander. Now, as you'll know, the driver appeared on the other one, and you could basically just see the commander bit in a longer shot. But that angle is just absolute um, optimum style of a vintage card or image to be used to make a great card. Look at that. I like the armor of these dudes as well. They were really cool. So that's really good. I haven't actually got one of these loose yet, but having that on the wall absolutely annihilates the other one. You know what I mean? I don't have that to hand to show you, but you don't need to see it. We're all about what's good, and that was it. And here are the honourable mentions. I wasn't going to bother with honourable mentions, but I thought this guy needed a mention, because again, going back to customisers, people have been customising the uh, Scarif Stormtrooper we're talking about here, and there's 
you know, there were some really great customs out there, including this one from Tatooine Customs, which was really good. Uh, I think he'd flipped the image though, because the arm, the white armband was on his, it's supposed to be on his right side and it was on the left of the other, but whatever, that's what sometimes Hasbro even do or Kenner used to do. But that was a really good image, I thought, of the Scarif Trooper. The reason I liked it was because he saw the, it, it tells a story, it gives you a very specific sort of vision of where it was in the film. You've got the bunker in the background, you've got the jungle there, and a pretty cool pose, if I have to say, but he wouldn't be necessarily my favorite, but it was a good card when I saw that image for the first time. I thought, yeah, I like that, you know, I like it. And also, I thought I'd bring this guy into it. The reason I want to give Cassian Andor a mention is primarily, by no means this is my favorite card, but this is what they should have done for Han Solo. Now, I got a lot of st stick, is that a bit too harsh a word? I got a few comments uh, in the previous video I did, looking at failed and they were saying to me and they're quite right actually I don't know why they said how could you put Han as a honorable mention that should have been in the top five fails and they're absolutely right you know I can't believe he's very lucky to escape the, uh, the, the chop down whatever you know the cutoff but uh, the reason I prefer that like this card and didn't make it one of the worst ones was because I like the Falcon there but that is a dreadful image what were they what is that what is it it's like some sort of CGI fest you know I don't know what they were doing with that it's like argh. what they should have done is found a really good image of Han Solo like that like a real photograph that's what makes a good vintage card I hope you're watching and listening as but we don't want to see goddamn CGI fakery you know so I thought I would make Cassian Andor my honorable mention there for this because that's a really good image of the dude who played him I'm really sorry I've forgotten his name as well but I look forward to seeing him on Disney Plus or whatever when he does that series uh, but what happens if he ages and looks older than he does in Rogue One that's not gonna work and that's for someone good on makeup that's all for me thank you very much for watching please um, let me know what you think about that list there give me a like if you liked it, of course, no, no pressure. And also, if you would like to see a top five failed and nailed for the other part of the vintage collection, for example, let me just show you this card here. This is, you know, going back to uh, where are you, Cody? I'm on a I've got figures hanging up all over this wall. Like, like, you know what I mean? Spoiler: This would be in my top five nailed. Like that card back. They couldn't have chosen a better image of Cody in that whole film. Execute Order 66. You know that scene, pivotal moment of uh, Revenge of the Sith. So if you would like to see a top five nailed and failed for pre-VC 116, which is from 01 to 115 of the Vintage Collection, let me know in the comments and I will do that for you. Thank you for watching today. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. Hello there, it's me. I can't not do, I can't publish this video without mentioning this. I've made a right howler. <laughs> God, I was just editing the video that you were watching and then I forgot completely about some of the other figures that were, oh. I mean, basically, I was looking at the wall over there, which is all like Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rogue One, Solo. I completely forgot that there were all the original trilogy characters that they were bringing into that, you know, the post 116 line. It's very quick. I can't, not mention Vidane. And then there's obviously Brock and then they did Vizam as well. That would have to be in my top five. I'd have to kick out the Stormtrooper, to be honest, the Rogue One Stormtrooper. Because that is so classic, that, isn't it? Look at the blue sky, the blaster fire there. I love Nikto's. Ah, oh, he'd be in my top five. Sorry, I've got to, I've got to, I was going to publish it and put it in the comments. Sorry, I've made a minimum mistake there. So this is VC 152. Vidane would definitely be in my list. So I, I I can't in good conscience post that video without rectifying that mistake. What was I thinking? All that stuff there is a lot of like classic vintage collection stuff between 01, Dengar and 115 Vader. And I forgot about them, you see. And there's other ones I could mention. I could say, for example, I could say that Hasbro nailed this car back. But it's a classic car back coming back and obviously everyone who knows my channel knows that I was begging and wishing and praying that that card would come into it. But I can't say that they nailed it because it's one, it's an old one they've brought back. Obviously they nailed the decision to bring it back. <whistles> but in terms of new characters, I mean he's not a new character but it's a new card isn't it? That's what this video is all about. I hope that's alright with you but yeah, I can't not put him on my list.
I hope you have agreed with that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Boom!